it's hard, man. I kid you not. Huge shout out to my boy Seal from HSM creating this Spider-Man freaking kit for your boy. I'm looking sexy, man. This could be probably the roughest track we've ever had in MX Bikes. And I've ridden, okay? I've ridden freaking Glen Helen, okay? That track is absolutely dummy hard. But this thing is absolutely wicked, dude. Lakewood, freaking holy smokes. It's insane. Let's lock in. 10 minute moto, let's go. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. There we go. We're locked in just a bit. I did unfortunately not qualify today for EU. Uh, my dumb self thought it would be a cool idea to use the Yamaha on the last, last little bit. Um, and yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it was just the worst decision I ever made. So I did not take my Honda out, which I probably could have actually put down a really good, decent lap to qualify. Um, and I just didn't do it today. So that's where we're here, riding this track with the community, because your boy's an L. But honestly, it doesn't have to deter me. Great track, W track, honestly. I love it. I just wish I actually would have went with my gut and done my Honda. Honda, not changed up on the teams. Not BMX, call me L Kelso. You're going to jail! Good scrub, though. Yeah, I should have never changed up, man, because this bike's absolutely gnarly with it. I, I think I would have actually been able to, like, gather a lot of intel off this track with this bike. Just because it's so planted, and you need the plantation to feel amazing. Oh, my God. Until you do stupid stuff like that. How much was your PC? $4,000, bucko. Oh, hey, W Kelso, I like this new track, dude. It's fun, right, Ryan? It's fun, bro. What up, IBS Kelso fan? Oh my God, it's so wild. I just said that out loud. Yes, doing stupid stuff like that, like not setting myself up and then trying to get back on the track and the torch just taking me away. The grip just taking me away. Now all that time I sit, I, oh, dude, what the hell is my bike doing? Oh, dude, I literally can't get no traction. What? Dude, that was like 10 seconds of bull. Come on, let me stop. Let me stop, chat. Let me stop. It's a minor error to a 10 minute moto. It's a minor error to a 10 minute moto. Nice, I bet. It's bad. I like this little spot too. I would, dude. I, I was not flowing like this on the Yamaha, dude. I feel so stupid. That's all good. All right, this spot right here is still a little tricky. What up, Easton? How you doing? God, oh my god, holy, I do not know how I just saved that. I'm not even gonna lie. I do not know how I just saved that. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't been on in a while. Great. You're good, Easton. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. It's that split. I think it's a little outside right here. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Trying to hit all your lines in perfection is the hardest part about this track. As soon as you get unperfection, you're done, Zo. It's pretty sweet, though. That was pretty nice little, little up and over. Looked like a little jetty. Scrub a room. Ah, he's big boy. 
Nice, big boy. All right, let's lock in. We're not too far off the freaking uh. Off. I think we're like a 10 seconds down, which basically was the 10 seconds that I did in that freaking. Okay, chat. Why do I even open my mouth? Why do I even open my mouth? Come on, man. Turn the bike. Good turn. Yes, sir. Good turn. Yes, sir. Easy peasy. Oh, not easy peasy. Oh, a little freaky SpongeBob. What is middle one looking like? Yo! I do like taking this outside though. I don't care what nobody says. I think it's just faster than taking the inside. Then you go outside, outside here. Slow her down. You connect. Ow! I think it's just putting. The oh, I think literally this track is just about putting a full lap together, which is the hardest thing to do. Which is the hardest thing to do. Because, like, how long it is, dude. It is a long track. There's so many little odd, weird places that you can mess up and it's going to ruin your whole freaking lap. Nice. Little case here. Yo, what up, Evolution? Bro, what's up, Kelso? What up, Frosty? Welcome back. Nice. Ride Hangtown? We just got off Hangtown. Like, dude, we've been riding Hangtown for like the past like week. Definitely want a little bit more of this roughness. This is nice. I see you move. Definitely kind of have to track, but I see you move. Definitely oversent that. What up, Jacob? Welcome back, bro. Starting to get in the groove though. Starting to get in the groove into this late moto. Where are you at right now, Lakewood? Or Thunder Valley? Scrub. Good scrub. Not too much. I low key case is just a bit then wasn't plush, but we're good. No. Gosh, man, I think I can like literally hold out for a little bit longer and then I do that. I think I always hold out for a little bit longer to like push it and I need to slow down even even before that. Oh my gosh, dude. Simple mistakes, bro. Simple mistakes, bro. Simple mistakes that we gotta clean up, man. Locker room. Sir. Yes, sir. bad we got a couple more laps to do got a couple more laps to do baby that guy right guy's gone man he's feeling it i think he's i think he's na i think na i think right guy is na so he's gonna have to really push it like i think he's trying to really figure out this track and get some good groove on it i don't i don't like i have no doubt in my mind he's not he's a, like not gonna make it because the kid's fast as crap Oh, 
Nice. I really like taking this outside here, honestly. Nice. Ooh. What up, Dobby? Welcome to the swing, baby. No! Scrub a root! Oh! I slow her down just a little bit. I actually probably could have made that. Lock her in though. Woo. Send that, John. Kelso's such an L. BMX, you don't even know what an L looks like, honestly. Oh, wait a second. You've actually been in the mirror. You do know what an L looks like. Oh, no. All right, Chad. That was a bad comeback. Honestly, don't hate me. That was a bad. Come on, Villa Lattes. You know, a bad comeback. I slap, here we go. Put in a sprinter. Put in that putting that sprinter lap. Put in that sprinter. Never mind. <laughs> IBS Kelso, what's good? What up, Oreo? <laughs> I was riding yesterday on my 85 and hit a grand jump and wrecked, and now I'll be sore for five days. Holy smokes. Dude, I was at the track yesterday as well. Dude, 14-year-old ride at 250R. Absolutely was wick, bro. I mean, he was doing beginner. So he said he's been he's doing like the beginner races for 250s since like March. Kids making jumps and all that. I was talking to him and his dad and his grand and his granddad. I kid you not, bro. Kid was actually moving Moto One. Second Moto went out, bro. Literally first lap, wrecked it, bro. Literally first lap, jumped the finish line and literally landed too much back wheel. Front front wheel gave out on him, bro front wheel gave out him. He sent me the video to it, so I'm gonna put it in the vlog when I can. But yeah, that was pretty wicked. Okay, dude, last lap and I'm doing stupid stuff like that, dude. Come on, man. Last lap, I'm doing stupid stuff like that. Come on, man. P5 again? W. Heck yeah, Maximus. My boy, man. He's out here killing it, bro. <clears throat> Sub Kelso about to oh, about to go night shift and stay up all tomorrow and then go ride the BMW for a while. Heck yeah, Jacob. Stay safe, bro. Stay safe for show, baby. What are you doing, bike? 14 racing 450 flat track. Dang, big air. I see you, baby. Just make her in, chat. That's all we got to do. Home stretch. Home stretch. We got up in that, John. I'll take it. Oh, dude, my arms, my legs. They're not like a bad, they're, they're almost like when you like do like a two hour pump in the gym. Like that's probably just what it was. Like the vibration of the bikes, man. Like it was so cool riding IRL, dude. All right, let's get another 10 minute. Oh, no, no. Nice. Oh, come on, man. What the heck? Can't turn the bike. There we go. Let's hug this inside. <laughs> Yikes. Good thing I did not follow that because I felt like that would have been just the end of me right there. Let's 
track is so bumpy, dude. Like, you just see how much struggles there are, dude. So many times that people are gonna fall. Holy smokes. It's almost just a better stay in the outskirts. Dude, everybody can't hold the line because of how bumpy it is. So you're automatically thinking you're going to take the outside. And everybody goes like, literally everybody gets kicked out to the outside. So wild. What? Bro, what did my bike hit? A rock! Oh, these PSDs are outrageous. What do you mean PSDs? What track is that? I uh, looks rough. This is Lakewood round three, dude. God, dude, everybody's getting literally booted left to right. What just happened? The ones from the new model swaps? They going for like a hundred a piece? PSDs are? Yeah, F, F that. I'll just ride the regular main one, bro. I'll just ride the, the main one like this. I don't care about a skin, bro. I got, I already got the model swap. So if you charge a hundred dollars for a freaking PSD so I can make a skin. I ain't doing all that. It ain't that big of a deal. Them, them boys funny for that. How do you get better at MX bikes? Shoot, I'm still trying to find that answer, LW, huh? I'm still trying to find that answer myself. <laughs> what up, Code Dizzy? Yo, you got face cam on? Yes, sir. We had 100 likes, baby. I'm trying to figure that out myself, bruh. I'm just gonna start taking all the outsides, bruh. Like, literally, if you just rail the outsides, there's, like, no bumps, dude. It's like, it's like, why make it that bumpy? Like, no one's gonna ride the middle of the track no more, bruh. Nobody wants to. I'd rather just stay out here, bruh. You ain't no bumps. Free zone. Free bumps. One bump. Ah, two bumps. Nice. I'll show on the OEM swaps. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I'm just, I got them right now. Like, I'm rocking the Honda one. Like, I'm not paying no $100 for a PSD, though. I'll be 100% honest with you. Ain't that big of a deal to me, personally. Nice. All right, we're like 20 seconds off. Cooper's actually killing it. It's like we're go-kart racing with the freaking track, bro. It's like we're go-kart, like bumper cars, bro. Like we're bumper carring with the freaking track, bro. It's a better term for it. Bumper cars, bro. Like the track is like literally the bumper cars. You bumping. Hey, uh, Kelso, I'm back. Don't think I made it. For what? For amateurs? Did you try to did you try to do amateurs? go we're, we're feeling some type of flow we're feeling some type of flow right now nothing too crazy i don't want to like not speak it into existence you know like like speak it out of existence sorry ab didn't even know you were in on my inside bro 
be honest, I didn't even know that kid. I didn't, I, I'll be 100% honest, I did not know he was on my inside. Should have downshifted, but we're good. What up, Legends? Game's whack. Not ready for these tracks? Yeah, dude, they're like, in, this one's just super bumpy, dude. Like, look, I mean, I'm not even ready for the track. I don't think anybody is. Not bad. Not bad right there. Still like 11 seconds off from Myth. We're not doing terrible. Let's go. Kelso, you see my chat? Nope. The game's not ready for these tracks. That's the other thing I was talking about. The game's not ready for these tracks as well. It's it's every year. It's either the bikes aren't ready for these tracks or yeah, the game's not ready for these tracks. I think I think it's just every year the bikes aren't. You know what I mean? Because last year for TFC, the bikes weren't ready for those tracks. But then when you when you ride those tracks with these bikes, they're there. You know what I mean? There's like no middle ground of it, you know? We always face it like a new obstacle of like updated bikes after the fact you know what i mean like i'm telling you like it's gonna be the same thing here like these bikes aren't ready for these for, for these rough and then watch as soon as the season's over we're gonna come out with new bikes we're gonna go back on these tracks it's gonna be a whole different ball game bro and it was just like that for tfc tfc was so was so like utterly everybody called it like like you can't ride these tracks you can't ride these tracks you ride them on these bikes and they're not even that, like they literally aren't even that hard, like hard at all like you, you actually get a flow you know what I mean? Like it's the same. It's the same thing every year, bro. Where it's either the track gets upgraded and then the bikes are upgraded in time or updated in time. The the base fix in the game doesn't like all that rough. That's also true. Nice. But then again, like, what can you do, man? We got to work with, with the cards that we're dealt with, you know? We got to work with the cards that we're dealt with, so. It's nothing like that we can do. I mean, do, like, it's just like we're literally working with whatever we can do. I mean, the main developer doesn't want to update the game, and everybody else is trying their best. Like, it's just community ran, so. Best thing we can do is just hope for the best and be like, yay, thank you. I did not make it. Cutoff was 204. Wow. It don't matter to me. I'm not pro. I don't even buy the tracks anyways. Not Philly. I buy them for content. For at least for the pro tracks, and I try it. If I don't make it, I'm I'm not really pressed about it. Like even today, like like I'm not pressed that I didn't make it. It doesn't like either it doesn't slow it's like doesn't really do anything crazy to me you know what i mean it's where it's like oh wow i can't like make content on it or whatever like still do two two ten minute moto video two minute moto uh motos and make it into a video dude you know what i mean like i'm not here to be a pro i'm here to have fun with the community so if pro comes along those lines and w to being a pro at that point but for the most part i'm i'm chilling i like it like this now, respectfully, I take I take my wins when I can. You know what I mean? Like last last week at Hangtown, that was super sick. Qualified, and biggest thing achievement is that like I've qualified for Supercross this year, I've qualified for MXGP this year, and I've qualified for nationals. So I can't qualify. Like it's not that I can't qualify. It's just I, I feel like I'm more in that privateer level. Like Jeff Walker, probably like a Jeff Walker or like a real 34, 35 man to where it's like maybe I'll qualify for one track. I'm feeling flow, and the other track I'm just not qualifying because I'm not feeling flow flowy. So. That's good with me. Like, I'm happy with that. Like, that's where I'm at in my, in my progression of this game. I'll stick with it. What up, DK? How you doing? That's that's fair. I play for having fun in these rough tracks as 
Aim for me, yeah, 100%. Like, look at that. Like, I don't know. I, I'm literally riding the track and my bike is just cruising. Cruising for a bruising. Like, it's just, it's waiting for the one bad, nasty physic out of everything to, to wipe you, bro. And it's out of your control. It's waiting for that one nasty physic to, to, to literally just wipe you off the planet of the earth on this track. Nice big triple. Why is Amp so fast? I've got no idea, man. Well, I would, I will say Amps is so fast because amateurs are like the next runner-ups for pros. Like they're the ones that are barely missing, trying to compete. Like, like they're literally trying to work. I've said this before, you know. Like, respectfully, amateurs are literally the next people that are supposed to be trying to go up to pro. Like, they're not going to be slow. I, I hope you don't think amateurs are slow, and I hope you don't think they're not supposed to have consistency. Like, like, that's another thing. Like, amateurs are supposed to be working on consistency and trying to literally battle for 30 minutes plus. You know what I mean? Like, that's the whole reason why amateurs are for. You know what I mean? They're trying to get to the next level and be spotted and all that to work for it. They're not going to sit there and just hand it to you. Like, amateurs just isn't like a free skate. Like, if that's what it is, then go to novice. You know what I mean? Like, that's where you can really try to practice and work on to where you can get to the next level. But amateurs right under pro, man. Like, it's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be like vet. Like, what can I do to stand out amongst my peers so I can actually exceed to the next level? You know what I mean? You have Hydra Hill, I do. I, that was the same thing for Supercross. Like, like I was doing really good. I was qualifying, top qualifying and all that. And like that was making me stand out to where it's like, you know what? I think I can go for, I, can, I think I can qualify for a pro event. And I did. I qualified for Daytona. It was my first one, so... It's possible, man. It's just like you got to put in the effort and it's like like amateurs aren't there to just be sandbagging like they're there because like they're either messing up on it on on their consistency level. They're having a harder time qualifying or something. You know what I mean? Like bike control. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into being an amateur to where it's like, where can you go into the next level? And realistically, I think at times I'm still an amateur, you know, like I still have things to work on. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's a gray area. Well, that's a GG. Thanks for playing. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk.